Some Naruto fans have a tendency to claim Hinata Hyuga would have made a better heroine than Sakura Haruno. Now, today I'm going to explain why that is a terrible idea and why I actually believe that could ruin the original appeal of Naruto. I think it is important to establish that we would learn about Hinata's crush for Naruto at the same point we originally did. Meaning we would know from the very beginning that Hinata had romantic feelings for Naruto Uzumaki. And there is the problem. Hinata already liked Naruto herself. Now she may have been very shy, but she definitely would never have been cold to Naruto. And I feel what made the dynamic between Team 7 so great and work so well was that it was clear as day Sakura hated Naruto. She even outright said in the beginning of the series, I hate Naruto. Now whether or not she actually meant she hated him is debatable because she was a 12 year old girl, but she certainly did not like Naruto and she would have preferred to have nothing to do with him. So I feel that it grew a great part of Naruto's character arc of making everybody acknowledge him and working to gain friends. It started out with he needed to make Sake and Sakura his friends. First it was his teammate. Then it was other people from his year like Shikamaru, Kiba, Choji, Ino. Then it was all of them. Then he started making people outside of his group of friends. Just random villagers started acknowledging him. That was the whole point. You get a really good idea of this in the pain arc. Where you see the citizens of the village talking about their opinions of Naruto. A character we don't really know very well. Some most of them don't even have names. But the point is that it would have been way too easy. And I feel like it would have lessened the whole impact of when Naruto was acknowledged by people. If Hinata was just there from episode 1 acknowledging him. Like, if you also, if you look in the manga, Hinata did not appear in chapter 1 of the manga. Well, no, that's a lie. Hinata did appear in chapter 1 of the manga, but that whole sequence where everybody needing the transformation just do, that's not in the manga. Sakura does not get introduced as the girl Naruto likes, like that part of the story does not even take place until chapter 3 of the Naruto manga. That's the first thing we need to get around here. So we wouldn't know Hinata right off of that. But the problem is that by F chapter 3, we would have a character that was in love with Naruto that was with him constantly. That would ruin it. Because the whole point is that throughout part 1, Naruto does these incredible things and works his ass off. And Sakura slowly but surely is like, this guy is pretty cool. Like, he's really strong, he's actually a really good guy, there's nothing wrong with him, and you know what, I kind of want to be his friend. That's the whole point. The whole character arc is about her realizing because Naruto made her. If Sakura had to realize this without Naruto putting in any effort, it would have been different, and I would have agreed, he not probably would have been better. But the fact that it was, it was Naruto's hard work that made Sakura realize this, plays a key role into why it makes the connection these two main characters have work so well. Because it's just another connection, another bond that Naruto had to work his ass off for. And now let's get into the other part of the reason this wouldn't work. Every single plot line involving Sasuke would seem a lot more uncomfortable and weird. He not so would care about Sasuke, but there was something about the fact that Sakura loved him romantically and Naruto saw him as a brother that really made the dynamic they had when they talked about Sasuke work. It made it work because Sakura came at it from this romantic perspective and Naruto came at it from this sibling perspective, from this best friend perspective. And when they came together, it seemed like two people that, were, that had very different views of the same person grieving together, and it really worked, and it didn't seem contrived or anything, but if he, if it had been Hinata, I get the feeling it just would have been kind of repetitive, it would have, it would have been too similar, it just would have been two, two friends grieving over what, another friend, that's all it would have been. With Naruto and Sakura, it's like, Sakura grieving because she lost the, the love of her life, 
Naruto grieving that he lost his best friend. So they're, so they're grieving for very different reasons. They're grieving about the same person for very different reasons. And, and they had the same goal. I also just don't think Hinata would have been able to form a realistic connection with Sasuke. Strong enough to make her follow him as much as she did. And it, it became Hinata just following Naruto around as he followed Sasuke around. I just don't think it would have worked. There was something about the way... There was something about the way Naruto and Sakura's individual dynamics with Sasuke blended together and made for this really good, like, team effort to make, uh, uh, to give the fans a feeling of, you know, okay, like, we get why they want to say Sasuke. Like, I don't think Hinata would be a good enough friend with Sasuke to make me understand and believe she would chase after Sasuke as long as she did. Hell, Hinata, even though she loves Naruto, was uh, in agreement with the rest of the Konoha 11 that Sasuke needed to die. Like, she was in agreement with them. Like, at that point, she didn't, she didn't care. Hinata knows if, if he found out that Hinata agreed with this, he would not speak to her. She knows that. She's not stupid. She didn't care. She was like, Sasuke needs to die. I mean, I honestly don't think there's any situation where Sasuke or Hinata would give enough, would care enough about Sasuke for this to work. I feel like Team 7, the dynamic Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura had worked very, very well for Naruto and Sasuke and Sakura's individual character arcs. It made sense, that it made them all able to develop individually. But it also allowed them to develop as a unit. You see that they all had their individual, like, kit, like, uh, dynamic. Naruto and Sakura had the whole idiot Tsundere dynamic. Naruto and Sasuke had the rivalry dynamic. Sasuke and Sakura have, uh, as, oh, at this point, they had the husband and wife dynamic. I mean, it worked. They had their dy they all had different dynamics with Kakashi. If they all the dynamics go together and the characters are different enough and oppose each other enough, that it works. And I just don't think it would have the theory would have been that good when he not to add the main character. I feel like that teen. I I don't feel like he not to would connect. Would, would work as well with both Naruto and Sasuke. You could make an argument that it would be more the Naruto and Hinata relationship would, would be better, and the uh, uh, romantic elements would be better. But do, can you honestly think? Would would you honestly be entertained by seeing no, Hinata like be shy around Naruto while him and Sasuke argue? Like it just wouldn't work as well. Like it would, it would be more boring. Like. I feel like one of the things that made the Team 7 dynamic so great is like Naruto and Sasuke fight over something stupid. Sakura comes along and like Naruto, this is a stupid argument. He punches him in the face. Sasuke walks away. He's like, I don't give a shit about either of you. Like, it worked. And Sakura gets all depressed and Naruto gets annoyed again because he's annoyed. Sakura is depressed. Like, with that dynamic, I just don't think you could pull that off with Hinata. You couldn't. And I feel like that dynamic, at least for me, is what pulled me into the series. The dynamic of Team 7. These three core... You have to... Even if you didn't like Sakura in the beginning, you have to acknowledge the way all the members of Team 7 interacted. That was really... For the first arc of the series, all we really had was Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura for that Land of the Waves arc. And I have a single question for you. Forgetting everything else you know about Hinata, with just the Hinata you saw in episode 1 of the anime, that Naruto, that Hinata who could barely speak to Naruto, do you think the series would have been as good if you replaced, if you put Hinata and Sakura play? Do you think though the teen, the teen seven theme, don't mention anything related to pairing, do you think the teen seven dynamic would have been as interesting? I do not. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Tell me your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'll like the video if you did. Subscribe for more Naruto videos like this. I should have a uh, One Piece video out later this week. 
on the top five ish most broken abilities in Naruto in One Piece. I also plan on doing a, on doing a video on how to fix the last. So yeah, keep your eyes out for that. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like the video, comment, subscribe, all that crap. Have a great day, guys.